NFTs, and how to get started with OpenSea. The launch of Bitcoin in 2009 was the catalyst to a series of reactions in the cyberspace. More and more cryptocurrencies and other digital assets are beginning to gain more and more popularity as people become more accustomed to buying and owning assets that only exist in the digital world. NFTs build on the blockchain functionality to create new possibilities centered around the uniqueness of digital assets. In today's video, we will be exploring the concept of NFTs and how you can get started with OpenSea. If learning this is part of your to-do list, keep watching. First, what are NFTs? Crypto assets like Bitcoin and Ether are fungible or exchangeable. NFTs, on the other hand, enable digital assets that are verifiably unique and unexchangeable. This is achievable through the use of blockchain technology. Whether it comes in the form of a digital art, an in-game asset, music, or any other item, an NFT requires a system for authenticating its uniqueness and ownership status in the digital world. The ownership of an NFT can be transferred in exchange for digital currencies without involving third parties through an NFT marketplace. The most popular today is OpenSea. Very early in the era of the initial NFT movement, OpenSea presented itself as a star choice for NFT exchanges. It has since established itself as the preferred choice for NFT traders and the go-to option for NFT developers. OpenSea has an open world design that allows virtually anyone to create NFTs for free with no coding experience, as well as buy and sell them on a verifiable infrastructure powered by blockchain technology. This unique design has been an attractive force for NFT creators as there is little or no restriction involved. How do you create NFTs on OpenSea? As a new user, you will need to register an account before you can start to interact with NFTs on OpenSea. To do this, you need to set up a wallet. Then you can go ahead and set up your account on OpenSea. Keep watching to learn how. On the home page of OpenSea, click the wallet icon at the right corner of the website to connect your newly created wallet. You will see a prompt requesting you choose your preferred wallet. Pick the wallet of your choice, then complete the connection process from your wallet. After setting up your wallet, you will be navigated to your default profile page on OpenSea. Since this account is in the default state, you need to personalize your account. Before this, OpenSea will prompt you to sign an agreement to continue. Once you scale this stage, you can customize your account by entering a username, writing a bio, and adding a profile picture. At this juncture, you are ready to start minting NFTs. One thing you should have at the back of your mind, however, is that depending on the blockchain you intend to create NFTs on, you may need to have enough coins in your wallet to cover the applicable transaction fees. With that covered, you can follow these steps to start minting. From your account page, if you're only looking to create single NFTs, click on Create and enter a name, description, URL link, and anything else you want to include. Scroll to the bottom and click the lower Create to mint it on the blockchain. To create a collection, you'll need to click on your account icon, then My Collections under the Create New Collection option. Click on Create to set a collection name, enter a description, and upload an image. You can play around with the various editing tools on this page to give your collection a really unique feel. To mint an NFT under the collection you just created, click Add New Item. You will be navigated to a page where you can enter the name of the NFT and upload metadata, such as an image, video, or audio file. You can also add properties, like the year the NFT was created, to help potential buyers filter NFTs in your collection. You can also add unlockable items that are only accessible to the owner of the NFT. For example, you can include a way to redeem real-world assets linked to the NFT in question, such as a physical representation of the piece or admission to an event. Once you are satisfied with your work, click on Create and sign the message on your connected wallet. If you have chosen to launch your NFT on Polygon, you do not need to pay a transaction fee to complete this NFT minting process. In contrast, minting on Ethereum will incur a network fee. Next, we will talk about selling NFTs on OpenSea. Stay tuned! After creating your NFT, you can list it on OpenSea for sale. Follow these steps to sell your NFTs on OpenSea. From your account page, select your profile image at the top right-hand corner to reveal the profile option. 
Click Profile to be navigated to your wallet, where you can select the NFT you wish to sell. Once you have selected the NFT and navigated to the NFT's description page, click on Sell at the top right corner of the screen to move to the listing page. On the listing page, you can choose to either set a fixed price for the item or opt for a timed auction, which requires interested buyers to outbid themselves to acquire the item. Furthermore, you can set a duration for the sales or reserve the NFT for a specific buyer. At the bottom of this page, you will find all the fees associated with this sale. Note that OpenSea will charge a 2.5% service fee on all sales and a 10% royalty fee payable to the original creator of the NFT. After reviewing the details of this sale, you will be requested to sign a transaction on your wallet to confirm the sale. Since this is your first time selling an item on OpenSea, you need to initialize your wallet to continue. Also, if you had imported the NFT from an external marketplace or you did not mint it on OpenSea, you will need to undergo an extra confirmation process to permit OpenSea to sell the NFT on your behalf. To bring today's video to a close, let's talk about how to buy NFTs on OpenSea. When buying NFTs on OpenSea, you can either purchase items with fixed prices or make an offer. To buy NFTs at fixed prices, take these steps. Explore the listed NFTs to find an NFT you would like to purchase. Once you have found one, ensure that you review the details, including its price history, of the NFT thoroughly to confirm that the NFT in question is worth buying. Be sure to check for red flags of common NFT scams. After verifying that the NFT is the real deal, click on Buy Now to further review the purchase before you are navigated to a checkout pop-up window where you can find the final cost of your purchase. If all seems fine, press the checkout button to complete the transaction. By doing so, OpenSea will direct you to your wallet where you will find the applicable gas fees. Click on Confirm to finalize the purchase. After completing the transaction, you can view the NFT in your wallet by going back to your profile page and clicking In Wallet. That was for NFTs with fixed prices. For NFTs on auction, follow these steps. Find an NFT on an auction you would like to buy and click the Make Offer button after you have reviewed the details of the auction and the bidding prices of other interested buyers. Note that a new bid must be at least 5% higher than the current bid price of the NFT before it can be accepted. Again, you may be asked to review the NFT to ensure that it is not a counterfeit. Next, select the digital currency you would prefer to make the offer in. If you opt for a currency you have not used to make a purchase before on OpenSea, you may be asked to pay a one-time fee. Select a bidding price and also an expiration date for your offer. Once this is done, all you need to do is wait for the seller to decide on the best price to sell the NFT. In the case where the items happen to be a highly sought-after NFT, you might need to keep upping your offer to stay in the thick of things. There you are, a step-by-step -step process on getting started with OpenSea. If you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Talk soon!